In the race for development, China's eagerly awaited third plenum set the course for economic reforms for the next decade. But it was very uneven. Leading the pack are eye-catching reforms, such as loosening the one-child policy for parents who are themselves a single child, and allowing more migrants to settle and seek a better life in cities. It all tallies with China's aims to create a better social welfare system to support its middle class. Where they made less progress is fighting the power of state-owned enterprises. In a strange setup, they only pay up to 20% of their dividends to their owner, the government. But now, state firms will pay more, 30%, to fund social welfare. In the ongoing power struggle, it's a win for the Chinese leadership. A key area that wasn't tackled is the gulf between what the central government wants and what local governments do. An example is equal schooling for migrant children. Local governments say there's no central funding, so they can't implement that program. That's the problem. China needs a better split between the revenue and the spending powers of the center versus local governments. The success of all of the reforms hinge on it. As those in rural parts have been known to say, the mountain is high and the emperor is far away. China's leaders may find their calls for reform go unheeded.